everyone. My name is Elisa and I'm a community manager with Codecademy. Today's quick tip video is about communicating the purpose of your meetup rather than just the category of the get together that it is. Um, this is a more theoretical and less practical quick tip than I would usually share, but it's still quick and very applicable. And once I learned about it from actually this amazing book, here, I knew that it would make all of your meetup organizing lives better also. So I had to share. Um, so what's this quick tip about? A category of a gathering, examples being like a wedding or a funeral or a coding meetup, is not the same as the purpose of a gathering. So like, what's that mean? I'm going to go example by example to share what that means and how this is gonna help you be a better community organizer. A wedding, for example, is a type of gathering, but the purpose of the wedding could be to celebrate the love of two people who are starting their lives together or to celebrate two established families who are now blending together. But the purpose is to celebrate love and that sets a tone for the type of event that we're gonna have. Um, a funeral, one of the other examples, is a type of gathering, um, but the purpose can be completely di different depending on a few factors. A funeral can be a time to support a family in a time of grief, absolutely. Or if the recently deceased happens to have lived a really good life, save some money and have a sense of humor, that funeral would be a reason to have a really big party and to celebrate that life. Those different purposes don't fit the category per se. So finally, uh, to land this example one last time, a coding meetup. A meetup is a category. Usually it's going to be about networking. When you end up in a networking event, you, uh, you sort of become robotic and you figure, okay, well, I'm here to meet people, so I'm going to hand out business cards. But what is the purpose? of meetup. That's what you as a chapter leader get to decide. So some examples of really great purposes that I've come across already in having conversations with you are like to give a safe place to practice, uh, a judgment-free zone, if you will, to give a space for sharing ideas about technology. Um, some have been really about the who we are. This is a safe place for women and non-gender conforming people in tech. That is excellent because we now know that the purpose is about the sort of safety that we are creating for those types. There's still tons more purposes that you could choose out there, but for what I've just stated, the purpose is about creating a safe space, judgment-free. Everybody belongs here. So as I said before, a purpose can really help glue your attendees together because when we all know why we're here, we actually want to be here versus like, oh man, I need to go to a birthday party for a three-year-old. We're going to be there and watch them eat cake or it just becomes formulaic and people fall into, uh, into a routine that has us playing a part rather than being ourselves. And when we are playing a part and not being ourselves, it's difficult to connect. So knowing a purpose gives us something to share with fellow attendees that gives us a reason to connect. And I can't think of anything better than that. So this has been your quick tip. Um, got the idea from this book again, it's The Art of Gathering by Priya Parker. She's a genius on gatherings in general, and I hope that this little tidbit has been helpful for you. Have a great night.